sorry, had to unmute. Sorry. Uh, congratulations, Mary. Uh, can you can you just uh, tell us, uh, you know, what this means to this team and uh, to have the coach of the year, to have uh, the one of the pitchers of the year, and and so many others honored on this team. What does it What does this mean for you and your team? This means so much. Um, you know, we've worked really hard this whole year. Um, even you know, going back to a year ago during COVID in the off season, we've all been working so hard. And, um, you know, this is just a testament to all the hard work that we've been doing. Um, I'm so excited for Coach Stifel. She 100% deserves it. She, you know, is an amazing coach, also a human being. So i um, so excited for her and, um, you know, of everyone else on the team that got awards. We were all just crazy excited today. Is, it, is this a little bit of validation to, to what, you've, what you've done to this point? Yeah, um, it shows validation, not just me, but the whole team. Um, you know, wins and losses kind of fall on my record, but, you know, the team helps with that win. You know, those games weren't one, one to zero. You know, there's some games where I had to pick them up and they had to pick me up. So um, just by that aspect, you know, me leading in wins in the SEC um, just shows, you know, how overall well-rounded the whole team was this year. And can you speak to, to what? Uh, what that means to have Coach Diefel to to have what she did also kind of validated. I mean, I, I know you guys as a team know, but uh, that that kind of shows that everybody else has a pretty good idea, or at least some idea as well, right? Oh yeah, I think the whole year we've kind of been underestimated, and um, Coach Diefel and our whole coaching staff has done a great job on um, you know coaching us through it, letting us control our emotions through this year, and um, getting more into the mental game than we have in the past. Um, so, you know, they've evolved as coaches and, you know, they really deserve this. All right, I'll, I'll let someone else go on. Thank you. Thank you. Jason. Mary, your road's been uh, up and down. Uh, you go back to that freshman year. What's this mean when you take a look at freshman year, then you had the injury and then coming back last year with COVID now, what does it mean to be pitcher of the year for you, um, especially after the freshman year you had and now looking at this season and the success you had this year? It's definitely feels like a full circle for me. You know, I feel like, like you said, I've kind of ridden the roller coaster through my career, you know, had my highs and lows, but um, I feel like without my failures, I wouldn't be this successful. I think, um, you know, you kind of take it in more and appreciate it more whenever, you know, what it feels like to be, you know, taken away. So um, I'm super excited. And I think, like I said, without the fail failures that I've had in the past, I don't think I would uh, be this successful today. And then to have Autumn on second team, I mean, the one-two punch that you guys had, I know she hasn't had the kind of season with the injury, but, you know, just to have you two on the in the circle, what's that meant for this team and to have both of you honored today? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, from the beginning of both of our careers, we've come in and I think uh, totally made an impact on this program. Um, and I think it means even more, you know, me being rise, her mainly drop. I mean, it's a deadly combo to having a pitching staff. So I think um, both ways, you know, we rely on each other. And I think um, this year we're both successful because we have each other. So, and that's how it's been since we've gotten here. I'm good for right now, Jake. Porter. Yeah, Mary, just talk about, you know, talk about the balance of this team and how well balanced you are. And it really showed with the postseason awards pitcher of the year. And then of course, you know, with Danielle, Hannah McEwen, you know, Braxton Birdside and, you know, Jenna Bloom getting, you know, all newcomer teams. So what does that say about just how well balanced this team's been all year? It shows that, um, you know, when someone, one part of our game isn't firing, we have two other aspects of our game to um, pick us up. Our defense, if our defense is off, you know, we have our hitting, um, we can always rely on our pitching. Um, so with all those awards being given, it just shows that our team has so many deadly aspects to it. Um, like I said, every aspect of our game this year has been improved. Um, so those awards just show it that, you know, we have upperclassmen and even underclassmen willing to step up when needed. So, um, yeah, our team is just – every aspect is great this year. And I know, you know, Coach Dyfel said it's not really been a team about rewards and recognition, but, you know, this being the first time that the team's really seen this much success and postseason wars, I mean, you got to kind of cherish it and enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, for sure. It was just like our SEC championship. Um, you have to soak it in in the moment, but also be ready for what's next. Um, now that, you know, we've kind of gotten these awards, we're not going to be surprising anybody. And um, 
I think now we really get to step up our game and really, you know, turn some heads even more than we have in the past. But um, this whole year has been about controlling our emotions and just kind of being that underdog. So I think if we just continue with that mentality, that we'll be, we'll go pretty far. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you. Jordan. Hey, Mary, congratulations. Coach talked about last week being off and kind of getting to soak in what you all did. Did you have time to revel in, in that celebration? And second part, how ready are you guys for this weekend? So like you said, we had plenty of time to, you know, kind of just soak in the win and the SEC championship, having this bye week this week. Um, you know, this is something that's never happened in all of our careers. You know, we've been working to this point. So it's kind of just awesome to be able to step back and be like, wow, you know, this is what we did. This is what we've been working so hard for. Um, with that being said, with that time off, we were able to soak it in and then just kind of turn the page and like, okay, now what's next? Now we have the SEC tournament. So um, now we're, we're full speed ahead, uh, ready for the SEC tournament and postseason. So um, we're all working really hard and we are appreciating, you know, what we've done, but we're more excited for what's ahead. What are some of the focuses for the tournament just in order to get, make it all the way through and kind of alleviate some of the, the issues maybe that you all have had when there has been that up and down throughout the season? Um, yeah, just, you know, continuing to play our game, continuing to have fun in the dugout, um, you know, staying up with our, um, you know, teammates and stuff. Um, I think with the ups and downs that we've had this year, we've gotten to learn from them. And, um, you know, we have weekly meetings with our um, sports psychologist, which I think really helps us, you know, the mental aspect of the game. So um, I think if we just continue to play our game, you know, don't try to make any game bigger than what it is, I think we'll be, we'll be set. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions for Mary? All right, that will wrap us up. With I've, got, I've got one real quick. One you, you, haven't Sorry, fa you haven't faced Tennessee or A&M this year. So how's the scouting kind of gone and, and what kind of preparations do you guys have heading into to whatever matchup it's going to be? Yeah, so we haven't played any of those teams. Um, I think it will end up coming to our benefit because they also haven't seen us. They haven't seen how, you know, explosive we are offensively. Um, we're preparing for both teams because we don't know exactly who we're going to face. Um, but I feel bad for whoever we're going to face because we're all so excited and, you know, we're so pumped and ready to play. Any more questions for Mary? Okay, that will.